Hey everyone, my name is Derek Deng from the UAB Hearsing School of Medicine, and today I'll be talking to you a little bit about my research, The Built Environment of Lima, Peru, a focus on inclusivity. The premise of my research looks at how the built environment can be characterized from the point of view of disability rights. Now, what is the built environment? The built environment is the human-made physical spaces where we live, work, and just exist. This includes everything from the condition of sidewalks in our neighborhoods and along city blocks to the presence of crosswalks downtown. However, for this study, I was interested in understanding a new environment. Lima, Peru. In guidance with the Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, we understand that persons with disabilities are entitled to all human rights and fundamental freedoms. Further, in understanding disability as a social construct, it becomes abundantly clear that it is our responsibility, one human to another, to ensure that all persons, regardless of historical and even current societal labels, are able to thrive, live, work, and just exist like any other. By looking at walkability as a measure of the built environment, it was my goal to elucidate how cities are either incorporating health equity or perpetuating health disparities in the name of economic growth. So why Lima, Peru? Well, there are many endeavors, primarily economic, to understand and contribute to the growth and development of cities in the global south. There is a lack of understanding of how human rights just fits into this scheme. Lima, Peru is an excellent example of urbanization of the global south with such rapid economic and social growth. With the intention of social progression, Peru was the first Latin American country to ratify the CRPD, an act the U.S. has still yet to do. All in all, one of the overarching goals of the study was to understand the meaning of accessibility in the global south by taking a deep dive into socioeconomic inequality and social justice concerns. So, how did I do this? Well, I went to Lima for three months and assessed three different districts of the city specifically chosen for their socioeconomic differences. Walk audits were conducted by using spatial mapping uh, to visualize the physical discrepancies between districts. Surveys were then given to residents of each of these three districts to understand perceptions from a perspective of a person with disabilities and from the perspective of a person without disabilities. Finally, I conducted interviews with persons who identified um, as having a disability, primarily physical, um, and local stakeholders such as government officials. As an introduction to, oops, as an introduction to the results, I want to start uh, with, the, with these photos from the walk audit. Miraflores, uh, known as a tourist district, incorporated many aspects of accessibility and inclusion far beyond a lot of cities, even in the U.S. Unlike the U.S., there was, a there was a reliance on public transportation and walking as a means to get around, and Miraflores certainly acknowledges that fact. As you can see on that bottom half of the picture under Miraflores, not only are there wide crosswalks, but there are tactile components to the sidewalks for those with visual impairments. Let's compare this to Lince. The degree to which residents rely on walking and public transportation is equally as high, but we can see how the physical environment just looks different. It's just different, right? There are no ta uh, tactile routes on the sidewalks, and the angle of elevation at some of those curb cuts were not appropriate for a user of a wheelchair. Overall, it's okay, but it's certainly not as accessible as something like Miraflores. Finally, in Los Olivos, a district characterized by high crime and poverty. The playing field changes dramatically. Not only is the presence of usable sidewalks not guaranteed, but there are physical dangers that would limit any person regardless of disability status. The concerning thing, persons with disabilities are not limited to high income areas like Miraflores, but they're often sequestered and forced to experience conditions such as poverty due to, lack of, uh, due to a lack of opportunities to thrive and flourish, a direct violation of human rights imposed on them by society itself. To take a look at a piece of survey data that was used um, uh, for the residents of each of the districts, uh, we used a four level Likert scale. We can see that not only do people or do residents of a disadvantaged uh, district like Los Olivos strongly disagree that their pedestrian crosswalks are safe, but when you tease the data and only consider respondents with a disability, there is a statistical significance that they, strong, they more strongly disagree compared to their counterparts living in the same district. So what does all of this mean? Well, for Lima, there is much work to address. Uh, there's much work to do to address the direct injustices, uh, injustices experienced by citizens living just miles away from each other. For the global south, economic growth may be beneficial, but at what cost? And finally, for the field of disability rights, there is a need to explore this area to, advo to advocate for those basic human rights in the face of urbanization and development. In thinking about impact and change, there is the illusion that Peruvian citizens living the reality, the district officials governing their people, and the advocates fighting for equal rights all want something different. But in reality, there is common ground, and there is compatibility in ensuring that all humans are able to live, work, breathe, and succeed in the midst of societal growth. I leave you all with this quote that really resonated with me during the interviews. Fernando says, hopefully the new mayor changes things, talks to us, asks us what's missing. They think of the majority of votes. Us? As a minority, well, and with that, I invite you all to continue the discussion with me on February 22nd. Thank you.